Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on my monthly favorites. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before we get started, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for returning. If you're new here, I am Bridget on this channel. I do skincare, makeup, with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. So during this video, I'll have a little bit of makeup, a little bit of skincare, a little bit of lifestyle. I will have the timestamps below because I know you all like to skip around. I look at my analytics and my analytics go like that <laughs> when I look at um, how you all watch the video and I definitely don't mind. Sometimes when I go to a channel, if a person is just talking, 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 <laughs> I start trying to find the part that I want. So I totally understand because if I talk too much, just skip around, I have the timestamps. So let's go ahead and get into the first item. So first up is a Burberry fragrance and this is my Burberry. There are a lot of variations of this fragrance. This is the one with the mauve type of bow on it and this one is a fruity floral. So if you like pomegranate, jasmine, and I think rose is another one, uh, you will definitely like this one. This one to me has a lot of longevity and it's got a lot of sillage. When you spray it, people are going to smell it around you. Also, if you spray this on your clothes, you'll notice that you do have to wash it out. This isn't one that's gonna fade away. I think right now Sephora has this one on sale. I'm thinking it's it's either Sephora or Macy's, but I'll definitely have the links below. But this is a very nice fragrance, plus the bottle is just too cute. All right, so next up I have a foundation, and this is a powder foundation by Clinique. This is really good if you're looking for a powder foundation that has full coverage. This one has the foundation as well as the concealer attached. A couple of videos back, did a makeup routine using all powder. And if you're one that likes to use powder foundations, but you're kind of having a hard time finding one that has full coverage, this is definitely it. Even if you um, elect to use it up under your eyes, you can definitely do so. Just remember, if you do use a powder foundation under your eyes, make sure that you do the appropriate skin prep. Just make sure you use a eye cream that's going to hydrate and moisturize your under eyes and you'll be just fine with this. Any issues of darkness or grayness or whatever you have under your eyes or either over your face, this will definitely cover it up and I really do enjoy using it. I like to use it with a sponge. I'll apply it with a sponge uh, that's in the compact and then I'll buff it out with a brush. So yeah, if you haven't tried the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Full Coverage Matte, foundation. Speaking of which, you know, we're in the summertime. If you're looking for a sweat proof powder, this is definitely it. All right. So next up I have a setting spray and this is by Neutrogena. This is their radiant setting spray and this one has peptides in it and antioxidants. So again, you all, I know you all get tired of me talking about this when you have, when you go to buy your products, whatever it is that you're going to put on your body, uh, make sure that it has some type of skin loving ingredients in it. This one's got the peptides and the antioxidants. So along with that, it does provide a decent hold. It's definitely going to give you a radiant look. For example, um, going back to the powder that I just talked about, once you apply that, even though it is matte, if you decide to apply this setting spray over it, it's going to give you a radiant look, not necessarily a dewy look. Because in my opinion, when you, when I think of dewy, I'm thinking that you're skirting into the realm of oily, <laughs> but this one's going to give you you more of a radiant look. Very, very good. Especially if you wear makeup every day, this would be a really good one to pick because of the peptides and the antioxidants. All right, so next up I have a uh, body cream and this is by Ahava and I'm not sure if I'm butchering that name. Let me know down in the comments if you know for sure, but this is the Dead Sea Plants Caressing Body Sorbet and this has uh, mandarin and cedarwood. So it smells a lot like that. If if that is something that you really like, you will absolutely love this. Um, I looked at the ingredients and this actually has a, a AHA in it, uh, which is going to gently exfoliate the skin. At least um, this bottle does. I know sometimes uh, companies can, you know, switch out the ingredients and you'll actually see it when you're online. It'll say that um, these ingredients are subject to change. I've actually seen that and I thought that was interesting. But 
Anyway, this one is really good. If you have dry skin, it does a super job of hydrating the skin. And to me, it uh, quickly absorbs into the skin. So this would be good for the summer before you get ready to go somewhere, you can apply this and it's going to absorb quickly into your skin and it will feel hydrated. It, it, it kind of makes your skin feel like it, it's wet a little bit or damp. But anyway, with all of that said, if you have dry skin and you're looking for a product that's going to hydrate this one is really good and you'll love it uh, but remember you gotta love mandarin and cedar wood because it really smells like that all right so this next one is by good molecules and this is their discoloration correcting body treatment and if you're familiar with any of their products they have a serum that's like this and it works with dark spots or hyperpigmentation and the ingredients that actually does that i'm going to put it on the screen because i don't want to butcher it that is the ingredients that's in this particular product that's going to help with the hyperpigmentation and the dark spots. And I have a like a scar uh, on my foot. And you know, anytime I get a scar, it's gonna turn black. Like literally, it's gonna turn black. Um, and I've been using that to kind of fade uh, the scar on my foot away. So far, it's been doing a really good job of that. Now, is it gone? No, because it takes months from, if I have a black spot, anywhere on my body, it's gonna take months and months and months. But when I use uh, certain products, you can kind of see if they just a little bit or either the texture will smooth out because anytime you get uh, a scar or a cut, you know, if you look closely on it, it's gonna raise up a little bit on your skin. So I have seen some improvement with using this. Uh, this is a product that uh, it quickly absorbs in the skin, into but this one is a really good one. And again, all of Good Molecules, products are super affordable. Um, if you're looking for a serum or a moisturizer or a toner, uh, any type of product, skincare product to go on your face, that would definitely be a company to check out. All right, so the next one is a skin tint and this is by Huda Beauty. This is the Glowish Tint. So when I first bought this and I used it, I thought the coverage was going to be really good on it. The coverage is really light, uh, kind of, it just reminds you of a true tint. A true tint is basically basically going to give you minimal coverage. Even if you try to layer it, uh, that's just my experience and things that I've found. It's definitely not like the Fenty tint. The Fenty tint to me is full coverage for it to be a tint. And that's how I thought this one was gonna be. But anyway, this one has, uh, she has quite a few good ingredients in here and I'll list them somewhere on the screen so you can see it. But this one is really going to give you a glowy look, okay? so. Um, and when I see, say glowy, if you look at it, sometimes it can be confused between a glowy and an oily look, but it's really a glowy look. So if you have super dry skin and you're looking for that type of look, plus you're looking for something that's going to have light, light coverage, uh, plus a few good ingredients, this is good. Uh, this is really good, um, especially for the summer. Also, if you're one that still wear a mask out there in the world like me, this one is going to trend. So that's just something to make note of. If you did elect to use it and you still wear a mask, I would suggest getting the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. That setting spray, I, I have never used a setting spray like that. When you spray that on your face, if you have like a glowy products and things like that, it's like gonna plaster it in place. It's not going anywhere. But anyway, this is a really good one and I have enjoyed using it. All right, so next up I have a Con Air steamer and this one's uh, really cool. As you all know, when you use a steamer, it kills bacteria. It just kind of makes for getting the wrinkles out of your clothes really quick. I also like it because it has got this little flap up here and it comes up and you can use that for pressing your clothes. Another thing that I can really appreciate about this steamer is that, um, and when I say this, you're gonna be like, okay, really Bridget, are you serious? But anyway, you can, however you have your clothes, if you have them laying on a bed, or if you have them hanging on a door or whatever, 
you know, kind of position you want to hold it in, it's definitely going to go ahead and do the job. It's got several settings on it. And, um, but the only drawback that I have, and that's only because I have rheumatoid arthritis, uh, in my wrist, uh, this baby is like heavy. This is, you know, heavy to me. It probably wouldn't be heavy to you, you know, because you probably don't have the issues that I have. Uh, another thing that I don't like about it is like my husband, you know, he'll come to me all the time. Well, can you see my pants? Can you see my this? Can you see my steam, 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 steam? Even his t-shirts. Uh, can you see my, and I'm like, of course. Yes, honey, anything for you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is a really good steamer and if you haven't tried it, you should definitely check it out. All right, so next up I have these two beauties right here and these are the um, Moscow, the, the little mules. I know I'm saying the name incorrectly. I'll put it somewhere up on the screen, but these are so, so cute. Um, I really like the hammered look around it. I have more, but this is uh, all, I, all that I have now. The hammered look is super cute. And I also like how the, uh, there's a little bit of a contrast with the handle as opposed to the glass. On the inside, it's a different color. I like using these for teas and just really anything. Um, I don't drink hot drinks, but um, I drink a lot of lemonade and I like to use these they it seems like they keep my drink really cold I don't know if that's on purpose or what I really didn't look at the description must much to see but I'm thinking that these are just strictly for design purposes but these are super cute and I love them and these are like really popular when you go out to eat um, I know Papa Do's has them like if you order a little drink or whatever I remember one time I went there and I ordered a Moscow mule I think that was or it was a blueberry Moscow mule and they had it in this kind of drink and it was just so cute but anyway I love these and if you're into different uh, styles of glasses or cups or whatever uh, you might check these out all right so last up I have a pair of kicks and these are by Puma and I actually uh, wore another color of these same shoes in uh, my Target haul I'll uh, put a link up above just in case you want to check it out but anyway the name of these shoes are called Cruise Ride or metal and here they are okay oh, yeah. but what I like about these is they're really soft and they have a bit of a platform and I know you're thinking oh no platform I can't do a platform but it has a special cushion in it which is going to absorb a lot of shock so when you work out if you like to run on a treadmill or you like to do, do walking or whatever these are super 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 soft I put the name uh, on the screen because I can't think of it um, exactly Exactly, but that's what these tennis shoes have um, when I got them I forgot what I paid for them I've had them for almost a year but they're currently on sale and if you're looking for a super soft shoe um, and you don't mind a little bit of a platform you would definitely love these so that's it short and sweet those are all of my monthly favorites let me know if you've tried any of these products and if so did they or didn't they not work for you let me know I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches.